Have you ever ridden a subway? Can you imagine what it would be like if a subway system were a city? My name is Jeff Andrews, and I'm the one on the right. Six years ago, my good friend Alexander Danner and I started collaborating on an audio fiction podcast called Greater Boston. Fun fact, Alexander really loves the color orange. Since then, we've made three full-length seasons of Greater Boston, along with dozens of mini-episodes, Halloween specials, and all sorts of fun stuff. We love making this show. It's pushed our creativity in directions that challenge and excite us, and has opened up doors to meet and collaborate with other fantastic artists. So, uh, what is Greater Boston about, you ask? Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Here's some of our fans trying to explain it. Greater Boston is like a combination between Welcome to Night Vale and Portlandia, except it's in Boston, obviously, and also has like more plot than either of those. What do you do when you turn a train system into a city? Because like, like, oh, when you go into a, a train car, it's like, hey, buddy, I live here. It's about connections. It's about how everybody knows somebody and the world is a lot smaller than you think it is. Your effects on people span far greater than you could ever imagine. And a lot of like very specific Boston things where you're like, that can't be real. And then it is. It's about ghosts. It's about how ghosts are dead, but they're also alive within us. There's a guy that dies and he becomes a ghost. He dies on a roller coaster. It's about how you will always love your siblings. You'll always love your little brother. You'll always love your older sister. And just sort of like, will not not in like a, a, a roller coaster accident kind of way. He just is on the top, just says nope, and he's dead. It's about how you're always going to be searching for something that you'll never find. Oh, Atlantis. Uh, Atlantis is real. You know, there isn't a part of town where the streets are permanently sticky because of the Great Molasses Flood, but there was a Great Molasses Flood that is a real bit of Bostonian history. Also, D.B. Cooper shows up. And there is a bit with a Olive Garden food truck. A bunch of magical tube systems and their robots powered by cheese. It's about love. It's about how people love others and how people are genuinely good. Oh, there's a guy called Dipshit. People want in their heart of hearts to love each other. Yep, it's a lot. A sprawling Dickensian speculative wonderland. Greater Boston started out big, and it just keeps getting bigger. Our first season had 12 episodes and roughly 20 creative people involved, cast, musicians, writers, and producers. Since then, we continue to grow, and that seems fitting for a show about a city, but it also makes it increasingly difficult to produce, especially for the budget we've been making it for, which has been next to nothing. And other than our Patreon, we have never crowdfunded before now, and that's simply no longer sustainable, which is why we're here asking for your help. Season 4 has more people involved than ever, and we want to pay our huge and growing cast, our dedicated, brilliant writers, and inspired musicians up front with a wage we feel like they deserve. We'd also like to upscale our recording conditions. Boston is, um, noisy. While recording in Alexander's basement has been fun, without a soundproof studio, our production frequently comes to a standstill, which slows everything down. So we're here asking for your help. Our show is all about community. We know we can't do things alone. So we hope you'll join us in helping us make something beautiful together. Please lend us your support and join our weird little community today. And we'll see you in Redline. Thank you.